Hi everyone, it's B Divine and welcome to Divine Healing and I am going to be going on with You Can Heal Your Life um, we've been going through this and I know that I don't always do it every single week I apologize for that but I just get it out there when I can um, and uh, we've been having quite a busy time uh, myself and my husband because we've been setting up a second um, home sort of a home so that we can I can do the quantum healing hypnosis therapy and if you do watch my other channel um, Divine Miracles channel I've been talking about this um, but it is the Dolores Cannon method and I will leave links below if you are in Australia or um, in Adelaide you can come and see me and have a private session and it is just the most wonderful healing experience you are ever going to have in your life Generally, most people, there is a cat call, calling me. Most people um, will <laughs> only ever need one session their entire life. And uh, after that, they, you know, they're just completely healed. So um, if you would like to have something like that, please just email me and I can send you all the information about it. I will leave the links below it as well. Um, and it is just the most wonderful, it's just the most life-changing thing. As a therapist, I just can't um, tell you how wonderful it is to see the people. They have to go through all the different things and then at the end of it, they are just completely blown away with what has actually occurred. So if you're interested in something like that, it may be for you. Please let me know. If not, you can also just come for a workshop or a free, um, a free meditation night and things like that I've been doing also. So, um, without too much further ado, I am going to get started with our You Can Heal Your Life. Of course, this is teaching you how to heal yourself and uh, how to help others to also heal um, their, their lives. And this is the Louise Hay book. It's, it's been around for quite a while. I just wanted to read to you guys something uh, at the start before we um, get going. Uh, and as you know, We've been going through different ailments that can happen within our body and a mental sort of um, thought that has been keeping that ailment strong in our life. So it's been keeping it there. And we, when we change our mental thought, the body will respond to the way that we are mentally thinking. So that is what has been going on um, for the last few weeks. And my cat is going to, he'll find his way in. Are you coming in little boy? Come on. Come on. Sorry, he's making an appointment. He might come up here. Come on. Puss, puss, puss. He's much, he's, <laughs> talk, talk, talk. Come on. Hello. So we'll see if he stays in or he keeps meowing. So yes, um, that's what we've been doing. And I just wanted to read to you um, just a little bit um, of one part of this chapter here. And it is, in the infinity of life where I am, all is perfect, whole and complete. I am one with the power that created me. I am totally open and receptive to the abundant flow of prosperity that the universe offers. All my needs and desires are met before I even ask. I am divinely guided and protected and I make choices that are beneficial for me. I rejoice in others' success, knowing there, will, there is plenty for all of us. I'm constantly increasing my conscious awareness of abundance and this reflects in a constantly increasing income. My good comes from everywhere and everyone. All is well in my world. So most of the little, like towards the beginning of every chapter and sometimes at the end of every chapter there's a little message like that but she always closes it with all is well in my world. So. I did want to share that with you guys today. So, here we go. We've been on the O and P a little bit. And uh, there's some strange one. Okay, pneumonia. Pneumonia was the next one. Uh, desperate, tired of life, emotional wounds that are not allowed to heal. So this is when you get pneumonia. And the different way that you can think about that is I freely take in divine ideas that are filled with the breath and the intelligence of life. This is a new moment. And a lot of people get, you know, chest complaints and, um, you know, really, really heavy chest 
uh, because they carry so much on their chest you know they just carry the weight of the world here a lot of people do it on their back well your you know your lungs are behind there as well and uh, it just gets to a point where it is just completely clogged up with you know this toxic emotion and one great thing to think of is this white light flushing out the black or the darkness so when you are looking at your body it is a very good way to like close your eyes and you're in a bit of meditation pull yourself a bit away from the body and look at yourself and then look at the different organs look at your brain you know look at your head go, move your, move your way down into the different organs in the body and see which ones may be giving you trouble and what it may look like when it's giving you trouble so to me if something's not working right within the body it, this area seems to be grey or black so I imagine it filling with light and that dissolving this black dissolving and you know you will find that if you do this on a regular basis you will always be you know healthy you will always be fine because you're getting to something before there's a major problem of course you'll have to work on your mental the way that you think about things um, but if you can get your mental attitude correct then the, you know your physical health will be uh, will just follow through so if you're suffering from pneumonia or, or some sort of flu like that you're just tired, you're, you know, your emotional wounds are not allowed to heal. You've just been hurt so many times over and over and over again. And each time um, you get a little bit weaker in the chest area. So as, as I said again, the way to, to counteract this is by saying, I freely take in divine ideas that are filled with the breath and the intelligence of life. This is a new moment. Okay. Now let's go on. Right, so I hope that was helpful to somebody. <laughs> okay, premenstrual syndrome, PMS. Allowing confusion to reign, giving power to outside influences, rejection of the feminine processes. So the way that we change this is by saying, I now take charge of my mind and my life. I am a powerful dynamite woman. Every part of my body functions perfectly. I love me. And it, you know, it's for especially, I don't know about guys, but especially for ladies, it is one of the most difficult things to be able to accept ourselves and be comfortable in our own skin. We have, we have so much more sensitivities to emotions than the male population. Even though there are so many males that are very super sensitive, it's a different way of looking at things. And uh, you know, women are the super sensitive types of beings anyway. And then over the top of that, we've got um, when the moon is full and things like that. You know, it is definitely representing the feminine powers. And so, you know, we're going on overload. And then once a month, we have you know the PMS or we have you know our menstrual um, periods. And even when we don't have that, even when that time of life has passed it will still continue because it has been a habit we've had. So we build up, we go through the halfway through the month, we start to build up, build up, build up, until it's gonna be building up really, really tight, and then boom, there's this release. So we're always going up and down on this roller coaster. And you know, even men as well, they can start to take on your sensitivities and you know when it's going to be that time of the month, they may start naturally being on edge because they're expecting you to be that way. But if you can change how you see this, you know, and take power back to yourself and, you know, really say, I don't have PMS, it just doesn't work, you know, it just doesn't happen, you know, my periods are, are painless, I don't have pain there anymore, um, all that sort of thing. If you can start changing that and sending healing to yourself so that you stay on an even balanced keel, then, you know, everyone around you will also be much happier as well. So loving every part of yourself is very important. It is, if you don't love yourself enough, you will block yourself from anything that you're trying to achieve physically inside of your body. So in other words, if you have been practicing healing on yourself for a long time now and nothing's happening, check how you actually really feel about yourself. Um, there's not many people that are, you know, in the whole population of the world, there really is not many people who are totally and utterly okay with themselves. 
There are those that are way too over the top, which shows that there's something wrong anyway. And then you have those people that are way underneath, and obviously we know that that shows that there's something wrong. Finding the balance in between, you know, can be hard also because you know you can fluctuate from being really really low in how you see yourself and really really over the top so <laughs> we've got to find this balance of ourselves. we've got to start comparing and um, you know trying to be someone else instead just be who we are and it is hard but um, you know we will get there we will just keep mentally working on these types of things and it is the only thing that works is changing our thought patterns okay so the psoriasis, um, a lot of people have skin issues and this is something, I was speaking about quantum healing hypnosis therapy, my husband has had psoriasis for you know, over 10 years and since he's had a session with me, it is gone. It took 28 days, um, I really feel there's a lot of things that happen in the moon cycle. It did take 28 days but you know, for someone who had it on you know, most of their body to having none at all, it is quite a relief. So psoriasis was the fear of being hurt and this was something that also came up. Deadening the senses and the self. Refusing to accept responsibility for our own feelings. So you may know people who blame other people for how they are feeling. It's always someone else's fault when something goes wrong. If you look at those people, a lot of them will have um, either chest infections and things like that, or sinus problems, or they will have problems with itchy skin. Okay, and the change to that is, I am alive to the joys of living. I deserve and accept the very best in life. I love and approve of myself. Okay, so fear of being hurt, deadening the senses and the self, it's also, <laughs> also when something's going on with your skin, it has to do with um, a toxic liver. And I always recommend that first thing in the morning, you have that lemon juice. Just make yourself have that lemon juice um, to help your skin as well. Anything pungent like that and bitter of taste forces the liver to flush out any toxins that are, you know, not helping it. You know, it will start flushing it out. So try to do that. Um, but yeah, psoriasis, fear of being hurt, deadening the senses and the self. So you're just starting to shut off from everything and refusing to accept responsibility um, for your own feelings. Like feeling like, um, you know, I know in some people's cases, they feel like they have to be a, a certain way um, or, you know, they've been raised a certain way so anything out of that is completely, you know, you just don't do it. So you stop having your own passions and desires and beliefs and you don't even know where your life path is taking you because you're too constricted by all the things that are going on. One thing I said to my husband was give yourself permission to do what you want to do. So now give yourself permission to do what you want to do and you'll just feel this relief come over you. No one has the right to make you feel bad in any way. You know, make you feel like there's something wrong with you or make you feel like you're a failure. And you know, if people are trying to do that to you, you need to keep trying to change uh, the way, you know, this affects you. Because nothing could really harm you unless we allow it, you know, and we've all done that. We've all allowed people to hurt our feelings. Um, but nothing really can harm us unless we are allowing that into our spectre. So, you know, change that thought form and say, no, there is nothing wrong with me. I am fine just how I am. I'm living my life purpose and I, I'm allowed to do what I want to do. You know, I, am, I have freedom in myself. So allow yourself this freedom without caring. It does take some time. You know, it does take some time, but with patience, you know, all of us are going to get there. We're going to get through all of these different things. And uh, I really hope that this is helping somebody um, get through these things also. Okay, now we really don't need to worry about the next one, which is rabies, because <laughs> not many people are going to get rabies. Um, <laughs> uh, let's have a look. Um, rash, okay, once again, kind of has to do with psoriasis, eczema, all those sorts of things. Um, it is an irritation over delays, babyish way to get attention. Okay. I love and approve of myself. I'm at peace with the process of life. So, you know, um, I think also with the irritation being the key, so not so much over delays, but 
irritation just at people, people getting underneath your skin, situations getting underneath your skin um, and you know allergies and all those sorts of things uh, just everything's just driving you crazy so you just start itching yourself like mad so just change your thoughts and uh, what does it go here? Yeah, change your things to loving and approving of the self once again going along with psoriasis accepting who you are and don't let anybody tell you that you can't do something or this or that, you know, you have to um, always stay true to who you are, always and sometimes we won't know what, what, who we really are and I believe that as we go through our life we are working out who we really are and then we're going right, you know, no one's going to take that away from me and this is where you need to be. Okay, so I'm going to leave it for there because right at the end, of course, we are going to do, um, I'm going to visualize some Reiki healing. Remember that Reiki can go anywhere, anytime, any, any space. So even if you're seeing this years and years after I've posted it or months and months after I've posted it, the energy can still come to you. I truly believe in that. And actually some people have said to me, you know, I felt it even, even though it was two years ago or something that you, you uh, sent it. So. Um, you know, I, I just believe that energy holds no bounds. So what I will do is I will focus an intention of this golden light surrounding you and, uh, you know, that you just need to accept and allow uh, good energy to enter through your body uh, and you will know, you know, the energy knows where it needs to go. If you are afraid at all um, about, you know, energy being coming your way or whatever and you're afraid of what it is, Put your guide there, put your Archangel Michael there and he will protect you from anything negative coming your way. He will be, uh, you know, he will sort out what's good for you and what's not. And uh, a lot of people just forget that, they rather stay in fear and just be afraid of things. Well, Archangel Michael is the mighty protector angel and that is what he does. He deflects negativity and he escorts lower energy to the light. So, if you are afraid of anything, and before you start, I mean, I'm going to do it before I start. I always ask that my guardian angels are there, Archangel Michael, and in fact, all the spiritual realm are with me before I do anything, uh, before I even start the video. <laughs> but, um, so that's what I'm going to do. So I suggest if you're afraid, put yourself in a pyramid of white light and ask for the Archangel Michael, God, Jesus, whatever you believe in, whatever feels like a strong and nurturing guide for you to be there and uh, to keep you safe during the process. So now I will just close my eyes and uh, you can just be ready for the healing. Uh, hopefully some music will start for you as well. Okay.
so uh, I hope that you are also feeling this gentle feeling of warmth throughout your body. Um, that is generally what you will feel when there is a healing going on in the deeper levels um, is, is, is beautiful warmth that goes through the body to heal. So thank you all for listening and uh, I hope that you will enjoy the coming up videos. I'm going to be doing another meditation very very soon on this channel um, uh, for healing the body and I might actually do the one that I was just talking about um, pulling yourself away from the body and visualizing the different organs and flushing them through with white light. Maybe something like that will be helpful to you guys. So, and until the next video, please leave comments about what you would like to see, what kind of meditations you would like. Um, I'm still doing more videos about crystals as well. Uh, you can ask me questions about crystals and what you would like to um, learn about. I'm going to get, I have a special little book and it's got different ailments in the body and uh, like skin conditions and things like that. Um, and the different crystals that will work with that. So I might do that book and go through that book with you as well. So, um, you know, you could be a little bit clearer on different crystals and what you can choose for yourself. Anyway, um, until the next video, thank you all for listening and I hope this has helped somebody out there. Uh, many blessings to all of you. Bye for now. Bye.